Welcome back to the Gambit Guide and the Talis Memorial in Moscow, the Super Tournament. I would like to introduce the Talis Gambit, Talis Contra Gambit in Sicilian defense after e4, c5, f4, and sharp and direct continuation d5. This move d5 already was played like. 200 years ago, 150 years ago, so I found a few games which, in in which after f4 black used to play d7 d5 move. So let's first of all try to understand what the main, uh, I would say, aims of white and black in this variation after e4 c5 and f4. White by playing f4, taking more space and looking for the king side attack. So he's going to develop his knight to f3 later on. Then maybe bishop could go to c4. And after d3 and short casting, white just ready to explode position of black's king side after f4, f5, just bringing all his pieces on the king side. At the same time, white would like to take, I would say, more control over the e4 square. And by playing f4, of course, it was quite easy for us to continue developing the normal way. Same knight comes to f3, second knight could go to c3, or in some lines, white even play d3 and c3, just trying to set more control over the center. And after it, when we have just very safe and quite promising pound structure in the center, so in that case, white easy could just develop his attack on the king side. So against this aggressive plan, black has to create his own action. And as usual in, in the Sicilian defense, it's not so simple when position just uh, remains closed. Because if black is going to fiancate his bishop after, let's say, g6, and then bishop comes to g7, and then knight c6, d6, and and e6, so I would say that it's quite, quite a long way for black to organize a serious counter play on the, on the queen side since uh, white is not yet played knight c3 and all the, all, all the typical plans with b5 and b4 and trying to take more control over the d4 square are not actual. I, I'm not uh, serious at the moment. So when white's attack on the king side could become just quite strong. So that why, instead of continue in this, uh, I would say, closed kind of position, so black could try immediately attack, contra-attack white center after d7, d5. So what's the main point? Always we say that in the opening, our main target is just to attack the center, trying to get rid of white center e4 pawn. And in case of e4, e5, so black simply could develop his bishop to f5 and then after e6 just obtain very promising, very good position. So the, the bishop is already out of the pawn's chain and we just simply continue developing the knight is coming to c6, the pawn is coming to e6, knight comes to e7, and the position looks very, very good. So, definitely white is ready to take on d5 as a main line. And, as I said, the d5 already played for many times, and after e takes d5, white is intending, then after queen takes d5, he is going to win important tempo by playing knight c3, attacking the black's queen on d5. So in that case, after just queen goes back to d8 and knight f3, white is having just quite a significant development advantage because he's ready to bring his bishop very fast to b5. After short casting, white is having just very good outpost for the knight so knight could 